Nope. Not a fun intro, not anything cool, not looking forward to this one. Hello dear viewer and welcome to the iSorrow Productions channel where we play Hearts of Iron Force Crusader Kings 3 Victoria 2. Every game about historical nonsense. Sadly, a year ago or so, we left the world of historical fun and entered the world of depression. That's right, this is a little series called Hoi 4 A to Z, where I play every single starting nation from A to Z. There is no nation starting with Z. And so far, we have hit the letter S, where we are, thankfully, so lucky to be playing Shan Z. All right, now, any of you weirdos, okay? And I'm gonna say it, any of you weirdos ever played Shan Z before? Why? <laughs> Why would you ever play Shan Z? I don't have a strategy for this. I don't have a plan, but we're going in and we will be led to victory by Yan Z Shan himself. Oh, that's always a good sign. You load in. <laughs> Somebody forgot where they put the guns! Oh, that's good. I can build one factory in this 20 infrastructure province. Oh, this is gonna be painful. If you know your history, China didn't do too well in World War II because they weren't invited. So, to make them feel better, Japan decided to commit a lot of war crimes on them. Good news is, we do have a focus tree to which we will have to make do with and somehow make this fun. All right, so our problem is we are right on the border with Japan when they invade, and usually the Chinese AI does not do too well. Good news is though, being in China, we do have a lot of manpower for us to use and abuse. Sadly, the same cannot be said for the guns we are currently missing. Okay, what do I want to do? We could go ahead and usurp the role of China through our focus tree and getting support, but we did that with the Guanzi clique before, so I don't think we're going to do that today. So I guess we could try to usurp the role of communist China, which um, I'm not too sure if this actually switches our focus tree over to the normal Chinese one like these ones do. But we shall find out today. Uh, I don't think I've actually played China since the uh, the brand new uh, supply system. So I expect to die pretty bad. <laughs> Although the good thing is because we have a lot of population in China, we do get a whole bunch of extra supply from uh, these provinces, which is good. Um, which means hopefully we won't have to rely too much on supply hubs so we can just do railroads. Oh, Dan, Min Lang Tung Tin. Whoa, artillery genius much? Yeah, I'm sorry, Napoleon, you need to step aside. The real hero of artillery was Mr. Min Lang Tung Tin. This man is about to blow us to the moon. Oh, I did a border conflict, and I can't tell if this is going to be a mistake or not, considering the troops are still cycling in and out. But uh, neither of us have supply up here. So it's not fun. Oh, and here come the Japanese already. Uh, don't have to worry about this too much, though. Uh, the Chinese should hold my land. I have joined their faction. Uh, the problem will be when they get pushed back from here, we have to guard this area. So for now, uh, I guess we'll just keep dying of no supply up here. Well, I guess we're going for a stalemate. So that was actually, um, well, not that bad. Uh, we did get 15 army experience. Wow. Gee willikers. Oh, also, thank you for reminding me that the fact you can actually turn off your allies using your supply by clicking the button on the supply hub, which is great, which means now uh, China is starving to death for my lands up here, but I'm not. Right, so as you can see, I've decided not to even bother holding this area up here just because we got such little supply, and uh, that is saying something considering the luck of what's going on right here. And also, you may notice we have a cool brand spanking new flag. Isn't it cool? Uh, but yeah, we are holding. This is much better terrain to hold in too because it's mountains. But uh, we will have to worry about this uh, little right flank here. But we do have 23 units, so we will just move it down a little as they push in. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm communist now, Stalin loves me! Alright, so here's the focus that's gonna make or break us here. I think this could put us at war with communist China if they refuse, but I think if they accept, we might annex them and Xinjiang. I'm not too sure how this works, but we're about to find out. Oh, they accept! 
Tid! There we go! We are now Communist China. I didn't get Thin Kiang, I guess, but uh, it does not matter. We are now a lot bigger and redder. Oh, I just got all the troops, so you know what? I'm just gonna delete those, because I don't really care about them. And I'd much rather have them in stockpile, but I guess we'll move the line back up here and see what the supply is like. But uh, yeah, not looking good. Oh, yeah, and we do get the new focus tree. Okay, great. That's amazing. We aren't going to die. All right, made a little second army from all our stole, um, uh, acquired, borrowed, lended Soviet equipment, and uh, we're just gonna try hold the with the Chinese over here too because supply yeah, 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 looking good over here. Oh my god, I actually got an encirclement. Look at that, ten whiff supremacy. <laughs> Look at it, it's just piling onto this stack here. <laughs> Our troops are so bad, but they'll get stronger. <laughs> I like because we did that, folks. Because I now have to pay tribute to the Soviet Union, like Stalin, some sort of Mongolian warlord. Uh, I am trying to improve the supply over here with a few railroads to get the supply out of these uh, provinces, which um, it is working a little bit. We have managed to push a bit more out, but uh, we are very <laughs> limited by our <laughs> non-existent industry. Uh, I mean, we are holding pretty well. It's 1940 right now, and uh, oh, well, never mind, if we're about to die. Thankfully, we've been visiting the Soviet equivalent to Walmart, where we have been purchasing many legally acquired weapons. That's right, land of the free, baby. Free to shoot the Japanese. As long as we keep this bloated corpse alive long enough that the Japanese die, we shall come out victorious and then stab the Chinese in the back. You may be asking yourself, are you having fun playing Shanzi? No. Problem is, while I'm stealing so much Soviet equipment, I don't think they're gonna do too well when the Germans come for them. Not my problem, though. It's all about China today. Alright, I think I'm stalling enough because the line up here is getting pretty thin as they kind of just funnel in troops down here. So I think if I get a good enough amount of troops up here now, they're actually decent, which are <clears throat> funded by outside sources. We may be able to make the great push through here. Alrighty, it's pushback time. Alright, the Americans are in the war, which means they should be even more split now, and my offensive has begun, so hopefully we can do some damage here and push them out, and that's a free little encirclement there. <laughs> do not mind if I do, little Japanese tank division. Uh, so, uh, any of my subscribers from Shanzi, how's it going? Um, uh, is the weather good? Question one. Uh, Question two, how Shanzi? Question three, how did you get past the Chinese Communist Party's internet filter to watch this video? <laughs> All right, here's a, a tricky question for you. Would you rather, you know, play Hans Mein 4 for the rest of your life or find true love? It's a trick question. You're already in love with Hoi Fa. Uh, it was actually a cool, like, little old Chinese proverb uh, that kind of relates to this. I think it goes along the lines of, um, go home, Japan. You are not cool beans. Okay, well, there goes our source of pretty much everything keeping us going in this war. Oh, okay, good news. Uh, the AI is now giving me a bunch more stuff because I believe the allies, yep, are now at war with Japan, which means they see me as a friend and want to give me artillery. I am a trustworthy communist foe. I, I will definitely not betray you in the coming minutes. Did I say foe? I, I meant fellow. Not Foe. <laughs> My production queue is so cursed. <laughs> so many people are just lending leasing me guns and I just stopped producing them and just threw it all on artillery because I've I've done seven twos for like the first time in a, quite a few years. But they're doing the job plenty and we shall soon be done with the Japanese. Oh, interestingly enough, uh, the Soviets are still lending leasing me stuff and uh, it ain't going too well for them, so interesting tactic. <laughs> kind of funny that uh, they're supporting me, and then the US is supporting them. <laughs> I guess we're just playing a good old game of pass the parcel, and parcel being artillery. It's not going too well down here. The AI has not budged them out at all, and we have ran out of supply up here. It's just, it's not happening. <laughs> really use a supply hub over here, but I have nine civilian factories, so that's not really going to cut it. Oh my god, finally we got some supply over here. We took their uh, capital and connected it with a railroad to our capital, which means we are back in business. Again, just going to put it out there. This is my favorite DLC they've ever released for this damn game, just for moments like that. There you go, they've capitulated, sadly not to us, but it does not matter as I don't plan on fighting China after we've won this war. Uh, it's always nice to look back at Europe and see four different D-Days. Or was it one D-Day that just got 
cut in half, perhaps. Uh, if you're looking at it from this angle, you'd think the Allies actually did pretty well in Africa, but, um... Interesting. Uh, Soviets are actually holding pretty well. They haven't been pushed back in a while. And uh, Stalin is still occasionally giving me guns, which is very important. You getting lend lease by Turkey? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god, Zupeng just got logistics. We can. <laughs> Zupeng! Look at that. Supply consumption minus 20%. Zupeng, you legend. Alright, so we just need to push them out down here in Korea. And we should get the scripted event to peace out. Out. I don't know if these guys can actually push. They are just my crappy 10 whiffs, but they might be able to make some damage down here. Uh, if said damage was to themselves. <laughs> it's, not, it's not going too well, is it? <laughs> Almost got them out. And once we do, I think we can get the scripted peace deal. I hope so, at least, or else it's going to get a little bit complicated. Oh, nothing's happened, but it does not really uh, matter, per se. As long as we've got China secured and there's no Japanese threat, that's all that matters. Oh boy, fine down here in Vietnam sure looks fun. I can see why the Americans loved it so much. Oh, looks like uh, things are going well. You're gonna, you're gonna deal with that? You're gonna eat that? You're gonna, <laughs> you've left something on your plate there, allies. But, oh, it appears that Chiang Kai-shek has grown old and he's going to the farm where all old Chinese leaders go after they've served their time. Don't worry, Timmy. It's just the farm! Sorry, Timmy, let's be real. Just shot him. Oh my god, yes. My lord and savior, Uncle Sam. Please! Is there anything I can actually do to help you guys down here? Because I'm looking at the old uh, supply map, and uh, I, I, I do gotta say, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's best you just don't have my help. Well, Uncle Sam, just for failing that invasion, you are no longer my uncle. You are my associate. Mr. Associate Sam. I hope you think long and hard about yourself. Uh, anyone got some spare political power lying around? I seem to have dropped mine somewhere. Chiang Kai-shek's no more. Now we have Huma. And Huma, don't get too comfy in that seat because I'm coming for you. Uh, just give me like a couple minutes to get some political power. Oh, I didn't even realize that they took all Indonesia. Okay. How? <laughs> really? <laughs> How would you manage that? Oh, great. The Allies have invaded Vichy France now, so I can't even get my steel. You guys aren't very nice. Oh, I think the Warsaw Uprising just kicked off, and that might interrupt your eastern front a bit. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not looking too good for the Polish. Almost as well as it went IRL. Oh, there you go. Been pressing buttons enough that I can now become China. Uh, you... I'm not home. Oh, and there you go. We have done it. We will accept that Japan. I um, I don't actually want to stay at war with you. There is no point because uh, I don't want your country. I want the glorious country of China. And I do not want these 145 S. No, I will get rid of those. No, the Soviet Union declared war on me because I said no more pennies for you, my Khan. I surely will have to worry with all these troops you have on your border over here. Can you sniff the sarcasm in my voice, dear viewer? Invading Siberia is going to be uh, incredibly fun. I am so excited to give this one a whirl. Uh, I'm going to be uh, spending a lot of time on this uh, screen right now, making sure there is a <laughs> level 5 connection from my uh, capital at all times. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. going to be great fun. Right, the dream here is that now that they've moved troops all over here, the Germans are pushing again. Not a lot, but enough that maybe they might be able to capitulate them if they took enough VPs before the Germans capitulate and I don't have to march all the way through Siberia. <laughs> They're pretty close, right? Right? <laughs> Please, Stalin. He doesn't have a lot of troops, though. That's actually, uh, it's actually, like, pretty much no troops at all. Um, I can kind of understand why there is no troops. Looking at these, um, <laughs> this supply right now. Oh, that's gonna make things a little bit complicated. Oh, never mind. Winston Churchill saved the day, declared war on the Soviet. Well, uh, a combined global effort to take down the communist threat. I'm on your guy's side, right? Right? I don't want to say that seems like a waste. But that seems like a waste. There you go. Peak 
Switzerland. There's uh, there's not even any Russian troops here, but just the lack of supply. I move so slowly. <laughs> it's just the front line hasn't moved. I thought it would be interesting just to see what would happen fighting in Siberia, and I have found out. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. Who would have thought it? It sucks. Uh, thankfully, looks like the Allies are just rolling over the Soviets, which makes sense considering um, well, they probably didn't have a lot left after Germany. I, that that is all you had left. Okay. Okay. There we go. That looks stupid. Oh, um, we're gonna leave it off here today. Uh, we had a lot of fun today. Oh, shit, we did not. It sucked. It was horrible. It was horrendous. But hey, it's all about the journey, right? Not the desti- the, but the destination and the journey were hell! But hey, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below so you can continue the journey of Hoi 4 a to z with me, ISR Productions. <laughs> Next Nation's not even any better.